welcome back to the channel, everybody. A uh, bit of a weird one today. This is a, it's a, it's a fractal morning. Um, those of you that have come here for Helix presets, you'll know that uh, this is kind of the home of Helix stuff. I've been doing it since day one. I've always had a little bit of a side, you know, dirty girlfriend, uh, which is the fractal FM3. Uh, I've used the FM3 live a few times. Originally, it was just the three switcher, which was great. And then I moved to getting the FC6 controller, which was great as well. Uh, but then Fractal decided that they were going to do the turbo. Um, and that gives you 10% more DSP, which doesn't sound like a lot, but it is a lot. Realistically, it, it is quite a lot. It's the difference between being able to put an extra ramp in or a massive stereo delay or two stereo delays, delays or a looper of some kind. You can do a lot more with that extra 10%. It just lets you kind of squeeze some more stuff on the end. Uh, and it's interesting to see kind of how people are talking about DSP usage in the Helix at the minute because it is kind of dropping away. You know, we are kind of running out of space. So what you're looking at now is the FM9. This is basically, it's secondhand on their shop. And it's... There's nothing wrong with it. There's no marks on it whatsoever. So I think when they, they term it as B-stock on G66 uh, UK, where I got it from, it's, you know, as... It's it's mint. There's nothing wrong with it. But I think because it's been retained, somebody didn't like it or whatever, and then it has to be sold as, as B-stock. So anyway. So uh, this preset is by uh, Mark Day. And... It was one of the ones that I found and it was just like, I will, I'll just instantly go out and gig it. And I, and I have done. It's it's literally that good. So it's kind of putting me out of a job. But, you know, whatever. They're kind of the main, the main two. There's a rhythm there as well, obviously on the, it swaps amps, swaps delay for a rhythm sound. Some friends, uh, <laughs> is that pretty much what I did? Yeah. So I mean, you could say, well, you've you've pretty much just got a, an FM nine for for what? Just for one preset? Not really, because again, you know, if you look at what is in there, there's a lot of stuff that you can, you know, do you do your thing with, uh, Mar the meatloaf. What is that, Mar the Meatloaf? Did I use that last time? I think I did. So on this one, there is there's a lot of different scenes on this one. There's a you know there's quite a lot of stuff in there. And again, CPU is fifty two percent. A little bit smoother, I think. This is one that I used for mountain climbing stuff. Uh, I've like wrote a couple of like different tunes, or whatever. And I used this on the FM three, um, and it's really, really like it's really, really good. <laughs> Oh, 
It's probably it could just be a lazy thing. I don't know. I think when when you're buying uh, modelers, the first thing that we do is we switch it on and we just go through the first couple of presets and we go, ah, it sounds like shit. It's terrible. It's no good. I'm getting all this like upper mid screech and bah, 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 all that crap that people do when they turn into sound experts when they buy these pedals. Uh, I think with this, obviously, this wins hands down on presets. Of course, it does. Ease of use is again. It's not a competition, but snapshots are kind of everything on the Helix for me. However, the fractal version of Scenes is just as good because it's seamless. Yes, it's not as easy to set up. And again, Helix wins kind of for, you know, user interface, etc. cetera. Um, but, you know, I do have concerns that the DSP is kind of running out in Helix. It's kind of having all these great updates and there is ways and works around and stuff like that. But yeah, I mean, you've seen just like a little dive in as to what is possible on the Fractal. So it'd be interesting to see what happens now. All right, so uh, thanks for being here. If you've made it this long, nine minutes and listen to me just waffle on absolute shit, then well done. I will send you a free certificate of, you know, listening to me just like talk absolute bollocks about modelers. Uh, there will be free presets for the Helix again in the next couple of days, and there's also free presets coming for the FM9. I will be gigging this next weekend. Uh, I tend not to record any gigs that I do because who wants to watch me standing on a stage, sweating my ass off, being recorded with a mobile phone? Nobody. Nobody needs to see that. Yeah. 